Welcome to Trading Lounge and today we're going to just be looking at uh, Tesla and let's go in and have a look. So um, this is a daily chart um, so we're looking at well from wave two here we're looking at wave one and two here and then five waves all the way up for wave three here and wave four here. Wave four can pull back to the 38.2 percent or it can pull back to the wave four of one lesser degree. Let's just um, get a rough point in there. So we're taking it from that high there. So the 38.2% comes in at this base here for this. So we're well into, you know, we've, we've, you know, we've tested demand for this. Now, the last time I spoke, we were considering that this, we understood that this move down through here uh, is in three waves and from that the market can just move straight up from there or it can turn into a flat correction where we can have this is the A wave here, the B wave here and the C wave down here. Well this C wave is not looking that good now at the moment and that's what I wanted to talk about uh, here. So I don't think that we've got this uh, here in fact. I think that we can move straight up from this particular point. So on the daily chart, on the four hour chart here for a moment. So from the 500, there was a bit of a spike there. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Just a, just this spike coming up through here. Don't worry about that. That's not part of it. Just some data that's not cleaned up. So obviously the last time we spoke, I think we were sort of down in this space here somewhere probably. And um, the move down through here is actually in three waves. So that means being in three waves, it's corrective. So that means at some point in the future, that top will be taken out there. We also know too that wave fours can get rather complicated. They can be triangle patterns and so on. And we may have a triangle pattern. We may, we may get five waves up into this space here for this uh, and then have another five waves down in this case. That's, that could be possible. So we have an A wave here, then an A and a B and a C wave here for the B wave and then down for the C wave here. So that's possible as well. So we can't, for, you know, we can't just stick our head in the sand and, uh, you know, and, and uh, hope, so to speak. But uh, as it stands at the moment, this counts as three. This doesn't count very nicely as a five wave structure, but I've sort of seen this thing before. But what's sort of turning me on here a little bit is that this is this is this structure here is looking to be corrective at this point. I mean, we do have five waves down here, but we also have five waves very clearly in here. And this is what I wanted to discuss today, because if we got five waves here, that means that after correction, or we may already have the correction there, we're going to have another five waves up. Well, if that's going to be the case, we've got five waves here, this length Can you imagine another five waves the same length as that sitting on top there? Well, then it comes up into this space, doesn't it? So it overlaps. So even we can't look at this as wave one here and two here. And I mean, if we looked at this as an A wave here, a B wave here and a C wave down here, then the C wave could be wave one and two here, down for three, back for four and down for five. But this is not in three waves here. This is in five waves. So that means that we're going to get another five up. So it's not going to be a wave four. So we've got to kind of, you know, work things into the best sort of scenario. And um, yeah, uh, this is starting to look quite bullish here in this in this fact. So I think we really just need to go to the tick chart just to drill in here for all of this. So let me just bring in some more data. Okay, so from the top here, we may have looked at this before, I can't recall, but one and two and three and four and five here for the A wave, back for the B wave and down for the C wave to make wave four. Now, this being wave one up here, yeah, maybe we could look at it as one and two here and three and four and five with extension in the fifth wave here. Maybe we could look at it as wave one here and back for wave two here and look at all of this as wave three, four and five in here. There's a couple of ways to look at it. I don't like any of them, by the way, but um, this one here, this particular pattern here is starting to dominate what 
it doesn't really matter what this one is. It, it's just not clear, that's all. So being not clear, it's very difficult to use it. Um, but the weight of, of the clarity and weight of this situation here, you know, is outweighing this here. So um, there's a couple of things here. Let's just start from the low here. So from the low here, we can see we've got one and two here, and then a nice one, two, three, four, five up here for the third wave here and the fourth wave here and then five waves up here so we've got five waves up there so if this if this top here gets taken out if that top if that top gets taken out just by here then we need to use that as wave two if this just drops back from here then we can use this as the A wave, the B wave, and the C wave coming back uh, below the four, 400 at that point. But as it stands, we can look at this as a five wave structure here. So that means that, you know, in fact, this looks, this would be, to me, this is really, um, this is a long trade set up on the 400. So we've got this nice big number here. Um, that means that we can go long above here. So we'll just do that. We'll just put this here. And we can go long above that, above there. And then we can put the stop under the 400. Don't put it on 400. That's just doesn't, it's not going to work for you. You can't do that. So you've got to come down to 96 or 92. So my case is, is that because we got five waves here, even if we have a correction back down here, because we got five here, we're going to have another five over here. So the length of this here, this like $50 here, then it's going to bring us up to $50 here roughly. So if it, but anywhere up here is going to overlap any of this structure coming down through here at a six, well, you know, the worst it could be here is that if I just bring this in to this point here, is the 61.8%. Well, we're kind of there already for that, but I'll put it in here because it's just another little piece of the puzzle and it, you know, weighs things up a little bit. So normally, as you may know, I would normally say when you find the 61.8%, if you can get it a test if the 61.8 percent becomes a tested support then the market's going to go higher from that so we could use that as well um but i mean f as a bearish scenario we could look at this as down for one and back for two down for one and back for two down for one and back for two and then down again here but if this market ends up you know up in here somewhere well then it's going to be bullish from that point and the idea here would be scaling in on well on the normal thing is to uh get some on 400 if possible a small amount and then build it on really on on 10 20 and 30 and if 30 becomes the tested support then you get your third position but the good thing about getting support on on 30 here on top of group one is that then the market will move quite quickly to the 50 at that point so that's just the Fibonacci numbers as a price ratio. Um, so let's let's see. Um, just to recap all of this though, is just remember that this move down through here is not impulsive. It's corrective. It's bullish corrective. This wave four may get more complicated over over here, but at the end of the day it will be part of a corrective pattern and this top will be taken out. Alrighty, um, I think I'll just leave it at that at the moment. Um, we can look at some targets to the upside. I'll just go to the four hour chart here. So wave three is going to be, the thing with this is normally grabbing this here, bringing it down to, there's different ways of doing it. I don't particularly like this way, but the length of wave one here, you would take that, 
move that and put it over here onto wave two here and look at this 61.8% here for that. So we could do that, put that there as a target area. Um, obviously what we will do is we will get out here. We want to get from here to here and we will look to add into the positions. It, it would be nice if you can get two or three positions in, in, in this space here. Um, and we can also look to add on the midpoint here. So from 400 to, to 500, there will be just the numbers 1, 2, 3, 5 and 8. So this is the halfway mark here, so that's 5. There will also be 8 in here, which will make up group 2. So group 2 is 65, 72 and 80 in here, but I'll just put that there. And I won't put all of group one in, but I'll just put in the 30 there, the three there, because really that's the critical point at, at this stage. Um, yeah, so, so that's it. So we really want to just build in early in the trend and look to um, add on the 50 and up here, we can start looking to take profits at the um, at the 80, the 90 and the, well, not so much the 90, but oops, bit at the 80 and uh, at the 500 and then we'll look to get back in after that we just don't want to get caught in a long sideways wave 4 correction at a double top um, so we can re re look at that or if you're looking to trade for a longer position well then that's that's fine because realistically we'll be looking at once that comes into play we'll see wave 4 here and then wave 5. So we're probably looking up at the medium level here, which is the next level at 65 there. We'll be somewhere up there at that point. Alrighty, um, I'll just leave it at that. Um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Cheers.